heat of battle, he don't miss. No. In the heat of controversy, he don't miss. See, I'm not a monster. I'm just ahead of the curve. In the meantime, and as usual, go fuck yourself. My last few videos, I have been analytical, breaking things down with facts, exposing Activision, Treyarch, Call of Duty in general for how bullshit this whole franchise is, how manipulative it is, and how disgusting everything to do with Call of Duty nowadays is. But this video, I'd like to be a little bit emotional, you know what I'm saying? I'm a little bit pissed off, and I'd like to vent a little bit here while also breaking down the facts, because I was just thinking to myself, man, about how much nonsense Call of Duty is nowadays. I usually two box to circumvent skill-based matchmaking and all the manipulations for like counting cards at a casino. I'm not going to let the house win. They can pound sand. But I, I just played a little bit straight up today, a little bit normal to see what their average Call of Duty consumer deals with. And oh my God, talk about the biggest trash can piece of shit manipulation I've ever seen in my entire life. Pack a burst everywhere, which is not pack a burst. Pack a burst is nothing more than just a way to mask the horrible connection system they have to implement all of their manipulation like skill-based matchmaking, EOMM, skill-based damage, and all that horse shit, okay? That's what it is, because when I'm playing in the two-box lobbies, when I'm playing against people without that manipulation taking place, I don't have pack burst, I don't have connection issues, doesn't hitch, it's 100% smooth, everything runs great because there's nothing working against me, trying to undermine me, until actually I start doing very well in the game, and then it starts to kick in a little bit. But when I go and play these other games, you can tell that it's just right out the gate, I'm getting pounded up my ass with nothing but algorithms and nonsense. Activision. Grey Arch, all the duty, Black Ops 6, all these people can eat my shit. They are a bunch of fucking mother. And on top of that, too, these guys ain't even paying out their debts that they owe. Patiently waiting for Call of Duty to respond to me and all of the other 25 people they are withholding to pay for the $1 million World of Series of Warzone tournament that we played in over two months ago. No response, no update, no timeline. Great job, guys. I don't watch CDL, no offense. I think that's nerd shit. I hate it. I think it undermined Call of Duty in general by trying to make it seem like it's some kind of actual sport and they tried to make everything so serious and nerf this and buff that and listen to a bunch of nerds who live in their basement and play Call of Duty 15 hours a day thinking they're athletes. Okay, so that's my take on CDL or professional Call of Duty esports. It can eat a dick, but they're not getting their money. So that's a ridiculousness. As much as I think CDL and professional esports Call of Duty is dumb, they they won the money. Pay them the money, you sons of bitches. What do you got? Twenty zillion dollars. Probably they're saving the money for Dolby Codex Defense Fund when the Epstein logs get revealed with the new Trump administration going into power. But I'm just sick of it, man. I don't know how any of you play this game, but how is it even possible it could be enjoying this game? This is the worst game in the world. Playing Call of Duty with the regular matches, regular lobbies, no cheat, no hacking, is just a nightmare, insufferable, and the worst experience in gaming history. Black Ops 6 is by far the worst Call of Duty ever. If you're enjoying it, it's probably because you're either like really, 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 really just amazing, and you're, you know, I'm not even trying to exaggerate there. You must be fucking awesome awesome or you're brain dead and you'd have a good time sitting watching paint dry or you're really 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 bad and you're in the protected lobbies which is probably a lot of fun like for people who are just not really good and they get to play in just the protected lobbies people are talking in there people are more social it's not such a sweat fest it's actually quite enjoyable so i'll understand that but if you're like in the 1 to 1.5 kd area and you think you're having a good time holy shit stop the video right now head on down to your local obgyn because you gotta be a to be thinking that way get your tubes cut get your nut snip so you can't procreate man because we can't have anybody who thinks as dumb as you having any more kids in this world and teaching them what you've been taught from your parents because we got to stop these recessive genes from spreading anywhere man but how anyone plays this game straight up is beyond me like what are you doing bro but what spurred me to make this rant was like i said i went and played some regular lobbies today without using my two box and just to see what it's like for everybody else out there who likes to get in the ass by activision and call of duty and my god my ass is gaped so far open that you could literally fit a watermelon down just after playing two matches the packet burst like i just said earlier the packet burst starts kicking in i got hit detection problems i can't see anybody Every Everything is working against me. The game runs horribly. I'm dying to two bullets. I'm hitting dudes with six bullets. And then I turn around and hit a guy with two bullets. And he kills me with one bullet. And I have 15 here and 20 there and a 10. It's fucking nasty.
nuts! It's nuts! I've never, I didn't know it was this bad because I haven't played straight up after launch. I two boxing out the gate because I was like, I'm not playing this shit anymore. I'm not dealing with this nonsense. Who the hell would? It's crazy. I don't blame Blame Truth for playing X Defiant and Trash and Call of Duty anymore. I wouldn't play this game if I didn't have to. I mean, like, I'll be honest. I'll be honest. Let me keep it real and back to steel with you guys out there. The fellow Gold Cock Elite Game Stub Muffin Balls doing a halfway in super sexual army out there. Let me keep it real with you if you wouldn't mind for a second. I don't mind the game two box and I enjoy it. I mean, I play five, six games, maybe an hour and a half, get in there, have a little bit of fun, get some great gameplay, try to kick everyone's ass as much as I can, talk to people, everyone's having fun. I'm not getting shadow banned because I'm also not that great cheater using aimbot and just looking like super out of place there, but I do well and I'm having fun. So I mean, like long story short, two boxing, circumventing all this nonsense and all this exploitation is fun. So like I said, if I was blame truth out there, I would blame them. Like I wouldn't play this game. I'll just play X to find or whatever he enjoys, he really seems to love the X Defy. I mean, I've never, I never seen anybody gobble the X Defy dong more than that guy. But God bless him, and God bless all you guys out there. Make sure if you're still watching this point, hit that like button and subscribe, guys. Don't forget to my con creator code. I suck it so deep that my throat's got bruises in it. But I just want to say also before I go, I've really been appreciating all the support. We are back on top. We're getting big views. We're blowing it out out this channel. Everything is cooking and it's rocking and rolling. I'm looking forward to the Christmas holidays. A little bit sick right now. I got a bit of a cold. You can't tell because you know why? I'm a stud male for male and I don't let that shit stop me to deter me from bringing the message, the Messiah, the truth, the gospel of the ghost of eight here telling you guys what's what. This is what's what. Let me just finish this video off here. Let me just finish it off here for you guys out there in this rant. I told you to get a little emotional here. Feel a little bit sick. You know, my temper is up there a bit man guys really seriously stop buying this fucking game Yes, you hear going to me. You just bought the game you're playing it. I'm not you. You don't have 75,000 subscribers. You're not the cold cock, super sexual leader of the most amazing Call of Duty community in the world. You're not. You're not. You're just a regular dude, okay? You ain't got a huge fan base that you can speak to and you can show them by example what's going on. So stop saying that. I'm not you. You're not me. But together we make each other better. We grow together. And then we have like some kind of like butt to face, face to butt stuff going on. Whoa, 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 whoa. I'm going to get the hell out of here. I'm the ghost of eight. This whole game sucks. Stop playing it. Stop playing it. Stop playing this game for God's sakes. Please stop buying this game. It's the only way things are going to change. I've shown you so many videos of how bad this is. You know how bad it is. If you continue to play this game, you're the fucking problem. So stop it. But really, guys, most important before I go, and last but not least, stay black, question authority, and then let the honky crack a reptilian shape. You're just building movies, stars, man, come chill, several of us, and such object to our sound that people, which all the flat moons, fake consoles, hits, towards the frogs, gay white men. Brudo.